All right, chip of the day. We have an MJ50AC100 transistor. Yes, indeed. Um, I could not find a proper data sheet for this part. If anybody has the proper data sheet, I'd be very interested in it. I don't have any curves or anything like that. I just have a few numbers here on this particular uh, website. And I found three websites, but they didn't have real data sheets. They just had a list of numbers. So we can take a look at it here. Since it's a BJT, it, I, I'm kind of suspicious that it might be a, a, a what it's called these IG uh, insulated gate bipolar trans. Anyway, it, it certainly it certainly has a lot of um, uh, gain. Does this say what they gain? It, yeah. See, this is HFE at 100, but this one has HFE as like thousands. So I'm not quite sure about that. Maybe maybe if it's all the way up to it, it, well, let's get, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. Uh, it's it's uh, 350 watts, 900 volts, uh, 50 amps, okay, 50 amps. Um, I've, I've never seen this package before. It's a very odd package. It's got a big big metal heat, heat spreader on it so you can bolt it down, uh, hole and slot, nice design. Um, and it's marked collector base emitter. There's a big gap. A big insulative uh, wall between the two sides because it's you know thousand volts on this thing. Um, this one's made by Motorola, 1991. Um, yeah, um, it does say made in Japan though, so uh, this claims they were made in in uh, uh, Toshiba. So I think Toshiba built them for Motorola, and yeah. But it's a bruiser. It's a it's a it's a big bruiser. Um, <laughs> Four thousand picofarads of uh, collector capacitance. That's interesting. <laughs> it's a big junction, very very big junction. But yeah, uh, big monster part. Uh, it will be fun to uh, put it on the curve tracer here and put some amps through it. Let's do that. All right. Let's take a look at this. Uh, transistor on a curve tracer. Uh, I have it connected to a big heat sink so it won't get too hot. And uh, the heat sink is getting warm, just just barely, barely warm. It's got a nice big copper heat sink. And so, uh, yeah, here we go. So we're stepping um, uh, two volts per division. So uh, let's see here. Two, four, six, eight, ten is in the center. And so uh, up here around 15 volts, something like that. Um, and we are uh, two amps vertically. So two, four, six, eight, ten is in the center. So this is about 12 and a half amps right now. And our beta is 4K per division. So this is a very, very high gain part. Um, so like a Big Darlington. All right. I think these might be insulated gate uh, bipolar. So they have a FET in the front and then they drive a, a bipolar in the back. Uh, that would be my guess. Um, let's see if we can get a little more juice out of it here. Um, let's go here to one milliamp per step. Yeah, that'll take us up to 20 amps. So the top of the screen is 20 amps. So uh, this this part has lots to go, right? It's a 50 amp part and we're here at 20 amps and it's, it's uh, acting very, very nicely. Hardly getting, hardly getting warm at all. So yeah, it's a pretty nice part. Our beta is 2,000 per step, so yeah, once again, very, very high gain, very, very lots of watts. <laughs> Some people might comment that I don't have the Kelvin connections uh, with these high currents. I did add some Kelvin connections and it doesn't change much. The, the, the initial slope uh, goes left a little bit. This, is because this, this edge here becomes a little steeper, but nothing else changes, so it didn't really didn't really help to have the Kelvin connections on this big, on this particular measurement. All right. Well, that was tip of the day, an MJ50AC100. 
Yeah, save that for a rainy day.